So I'm just starting off with two day old hair. I find that this style is so perfect for those days when you haven't had the time to shampoo as the natural oils are actually going to make your hair a lot easier to style. And now I'm just dampening the hair and working some of the 11 Australia Miracle Hair Treatment through the lengths to start off the hair prep. Now I have been absolutely loving the 11 range lately so this entire look is going to be using their products. Then just taking the I Want Body Volume Foam and working it through the roots to mid lengths of the hair in two sections. Now this is one of the most important steps as the prep is really going to help keep the hair in shape for longer, which is something that I personally really struggle with as my hair is quite fine. Now finally just spraying some sea salt texture spray onto the lengths to add a little bit of grit to the hair, which is also going to really help with the styling. And then taking my trusty GHD hairdryer and blow drying the product into my hair. Now it's time to create the curls and I am using this curler by Curious Grace which is my all time favourite curling wand and just dividing the hair into two sections working on the bottom layers first from back to front always remembering to curl in the direction away from your head. And just spritzing with a little bit of Gimme Hold Flexible Hairspray, which is amazing by the way, and moving on to the top layers of the hair. Now for the top layers of my hair, you will notice that I am holding the wand horizontal to my head instead of vertical like the bottom layers, as this direction is really going to help make the hair brush back easier and have the curls flow down the back a lot more smoothly. Then I'm just taking a comb and gently working out the curls before taking a hairbrush and brushing the hair to the back of the head ready to style. Now comes the tricky part, keeping the hair in place. So starting off with the frizz control shaping cream, I am just smoothing back my hair working from the hairline to the back of my head and also using the comb to work the product through. And now it's time for the saviour and star of the show. I am taking the Slick Hold Styling Pomade and working that over the same area. Now this time it is best to also use your hands to really smooth the product into the hair and get rid of any bumps. And finally just taking a piece of light cardboard or even a business card would do and clipping it directly behind the ear to keep the hair in place whilst it dries. And whilst the hair is now setting in place, it's time to do our makeup. So to start off the skin, I am first of all going in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Primer and I am just lightly rubbing that into my skin, particularly around my T-zone where my pores are the most obvious. Next up, I'm taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation, which looking at it now is a little bit too tan for my current skin tone, but I think I made it work in the end. And I am just taking my trusty beauty blender and blending the foundation all over my face and down my neck. For concealer, I am taking this Nifty palette by Zoeva, which I will link down below. Don't forget that I have a list of all the products I've used down below if any of them have perked your interest. And I'm just mixing a couple of the fairer shades and placing them Instagram style in the areas that I want to brighten. And now just taking my Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick, which is amazing, and popping that in all the areas that I want to contour, like below the cheekbones, up the forehead, and around the jawline. Then once again I am taking my Beauty Blender, if you haven't got one of these in your life then you need to change that ASAP because they are incredible, once you beauty blend you never go back. And I am just blending that all in gently starting off with the lighter shades before working onto the contour so that we don't mix the colours too much on the blender. For highlight, I have been loving gels and creams lately, particularly this stunning stick by Marc Jacobs, which has a really white glow, which I love on my pale skin. And I'm just using the warmth of my fingers to dab the highlight into all the typical places. 
Then I'm just lightly taking some Laura Mercier translucent powder on a small brush and setting the areas of my face that are most likely to get oily, so my nose, my forehead and under my eyes and chin. And then because you can never have enough highlight, actually that's a lie, you probably can have a little bit too much highlight, but I am just taking this powder highlight by Ciate on a fan brush and lightly popping it directly over the cream highlight to add a little bit more intensity. I find that by doing this, the powder really sticks to the cream and it makes the highlight a lot more intense. And then just finishing off the cheeks with a little bit of blush by Zoeva. So now it is time to add some eyebrows to my face because as you can probably see, mine are completely non-existent and I am just using my usual Goof Proof by Benefit, which you guys know is my holy grail. I'm so sorry, I never use anything different, but I just love it so, so much. And then setting them in place with a clear brow gel also by Benefit. To try something new for the shadow, I'm just starting off with a Burberry shadow stick and just blending it all over my lid using the warmth of my finger to create a base. And then taking the Zoeva Basic Moment palette on a fluffy eyeshadow crease brush and taking a combination of the shades Waiting and Ever into the outer corners, the crease, and then below the lower lash line. Also, can I just say, have you realized how much I am loving Zoeva in this video? I didn't even realize until I sat down to edit, but I absolutely adore all of their products, so you should definitely check them out if you haven't already, particularly the powders. I am obsessed with all their powder products. Actually, no, I'm obsessed with all their products. Just check out Zoeva. Love the shadows so much. Then just adding some lash to the equation and I am obsessed with these Huda Beauty Samantha lashes. I have two pairs at the moment and I have them in rotation and I'm so scared I'm gonna lose them because they are absolutely stunning. I wanna wear them forever. And then just popping a little bit of Marc Jacobs mascara on to blend the natural lashes to the falsies and add a little bit more dimension to the bottom row. And with that done, that is the eyes complete. Now we only have the lips left, so I am taking this almost vampy Kat Von D liquid lipstick and popping that neatly on my lips. I love Kat Von D lipsticks so much because I never find that they need a lip liner and they are super long wearing and have the most beautiful finish on the lips. They're probably my favorite liquid lipstick. And with the lips all done, that is my makeup complete. So all we have left to do is remove the cards from the side of my head and give a little spritz of shine spray to the hair and I am ready to go. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below if you did because it really helps a girl out. And I will see you guys very, very soon with another video. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day.